Hey, Jenny, thanks so much for posting this question on the page. I wanted to get back with you and give you some feedback on your feedback. Thanks so much for using the five questions. I hope that you feel like they were helpful and easy and you're getting some new responses from those. So for those of you in the group, these are the five questions that I recommend using for feedback so that you can do something with the answers. And also I recommend that the answers go directly to the home seller. So there's two different pieces that we can do with this information. One piece is, is we can go directly to the sellers and give them some feedback on top of this feedback. This is your expert you know, opinion of the feedback that was given. And two, uh, we can go directly to the buyer's agent to bring forth um, any additional information and hopefully create a foundation for bringing an offer. So let's talk about both of those things. The first thing I would say is, is it sounds like that the house is exactly as they were expecting, which is perfect. You don't want to get them um, confused or anything like that. So you've depicted the house well, and it's what they were expecting when they went in. It looks like this home is in their top two to three. It's not the absolute best, but we're going to aim to get there. And the top two to three is really great. We know in this market, things happen really quickly. So one of those two or three might go under contract or, um, you know, something might happen with that and you might move up to absolute best or we can physically do something to move up to absolute best. It looks like they liked the location and the layout. Those are hard things to replicate. Location is something that can't be repeated and layout, you know, depending on your area and your price point may be quite limited. So those are really good things to reinforce with that buyer's agent and also what things they did not like about the property. And this is kind of the key point here, the little, the little gem that I would say we've received from this feedback is that they don't like the wallpaper in the master bedroom. It's important for the seller to see that feedback so that they can see that and see it over and over again if it's an issue over and over again and realize that it's not you saying that, it's somebody else saying that. Um, some of the time when the seller gets that feedback directly, they'll actually be proactive with doing something about it. Some of the times they won't. Um, and then it looks like the people that have seen the house have seen six to 10 homes in their process. So just so you know, NAR suggests that you know a buyer can find the home that they're looking for in about eight to 10 properties. That's our team's average as well. So I would say that they've reached a fair amount of homes to have perspective and really get if this house meets their needs in terms of value and uh, what they're looking for based on the price that it's being offered for. So I would say they're ripe for a really great conversation with their seller. And they didn't make any comments on price or condition, um, which is totally fine. Um, so what I would do here is I would um, do, do one of two things or both things. What I would do in the future is I would let your sellers know that you're using these questions and that your job is to follow up with feedback every day um, as it comes in. And what you want to do is get that feedback organically, have that agent fill this out naturally without your prompting, and then you call to follow up. And you let the seller know that when you're following up on these phone calls, what you're going to do is figure out ways that you guys can come to an agreement and get an offer put together. So that might mean making some adjustments on things or asking more questions to understand where they're at, what they're competing with, what other homes they like as well as yours, and just kind of making some um, suggestions to bring that buyer to your property. So what you want to do is you want to call the other agent and say, hey, um, Bonnie, thank you so much for showing my listing on Riverview. Um, I got your feedback and I'm really intrigued by it and I really am hopeful that we can come to um, an understanding with this. I'm sure that after 10 homes, you're ready for them to make an offer. I'm sure that you and they probably feel like they've seen enough to know what to expect in this price range. So let me ask you this. It seems like it's exactly what they were expecting. It's in their top two to three properties. 
and they love the location and layout. Do you think that that's hard? like, have they seen other things that met their needs in terms of location? Um, are those other two properties that we're competing with better in terms of location? Um, what about layout? And just ask some of those questions to see if they'll open up a little bit and give you an idea of where you rate in terms of what's most important to their client um, compared to the other properties. And then say, you know, I noticed that um, the wallpaper in the master bedroom was an issue. Let me ask you this. If I could get that wallpaper removed in the master bedroom, would that change this for your clients? Would that make them feel good enough to make an offer on this property? Would this, would the wallpaper in the master bedroom being removed raise up this property to be the absolute best? I mean, when you consider that the location can't be changed, but we can remove that bedroom wallpaper, is this something that would help? Um, and just get their, get their feedback on that. Um, and what I would recommend to you, Jenny, is to say, you know, I really think that we can take care of the wallpaper in the master bedroom if you can bring us an offer and we can get under contract, say, by the end of the week. Um, that's something that we could take care of. Um, and see what she says and see what you can do. I mean, that conversation with that agent is going to let you know where you need to go with things. Or the, it may bring up something else. It, she may say, you know, the wallpaper in the master bedroom is a big deal, but it's also not in the school system. Or, you know, they really need to move in by the end of the month. Well, you know what? It's only the fifth. We can totally make that happen. So don't have any reservations that we won't be able to get out in time. I can prepare my clients for that. What else is holding you up from making an offer? And just try to identify what you can do as a listing agent. Um, I believe so many times listing agents are so combative and just not helpful or friendly. And just making that phone call and saying, hey, I'm here to help. I'm sure you want to, to get these people under contract. I'd like to get my people under contract. How can we make this work together? And is there anything that I can do to help? And that's just a collaborative experience with that other agent. And hopefully the other agent, the buyer's agent, understands that you're just looking to help and you're not looking to pry or get inappropriate information about their clients and just come from contribution and say that you're just trying to help. Now, the second part of this is the um, sellers. Um, they need a phone call. And you need to say to them, and maybe maybe you get a couple of more of these before you say anything, or maybe you follow up with um, an email or a phone call or a video message, which is a really great way to do it, and say, hey, um, Sally and Tom, I saw all this feedback today, and I'm in the process of playing phone tag to get this agent on the phone to see what we can do to help. Would you guys be willing to... Um, you know, remove the wallpaper in the master bedroom in order for us to get this under contract this week. I can send over my painter to give you an estimate, or maybe this is something that is easy enough for you guys to do. But what I would really like for you to do is consider that this may came, come up again in the future as I'm using these new questions to really help sell the property and help work with that other agent to bring an offer. So I really want to begin this conversation with you about the bedroom wallpaper removal if this is something that's going to come up. Or maybe even, Jenny, you already discussed this with them in the listing initially, and now this is the second time they're hearing it. The more times they can see it and hear it, the more it's going to sink in that it needs to be addressed. And truly, it's a couple hundred dollars to remove that wallpaper. If you can get it under contract by the end of this week, I would say it's absolutely worth it. Now, what I would not recommend, do not do, is give up any of your money or your commission to get this done. This is their property, this is their investment, and this is their responsibility to do, not yours as an agent. You don't improve properties at your own expense, okay? You are an expert negotiator and an expert marketer, and you are helping them get their home to a position where it can be best marketed and sold at the highest price because it is ready to go, okay? That's your value in this, and this that is your, um, your financial contribution to this. So don't give up your money because they need to make some modifications on their home. 
um, in order to get that offer. So hopefully this answers your question. It was definitely 10 minutes long, but I wanted to make sure that you had a full understanding of what options are available once you get feedback like this. Have a great day, guys. I'm so thrilled that you're using the tools and the systems that I'm recommending, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow when we go over pricing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.